I stand before you today, not as a commander, a general, or even a leader. Hopefully, I am just a voice, the voice of reason, and your friend, here on the eve of battle. Tomorrow, we are ready to fight, not because we want to take action, but because we are forced to. For too long have we stood back and watched the corporate robot army destroy our land and ruin our way of life. For too long have we heard the sounds of chainsaws clear down our forest. For too long has our food been cancerous, the seeds of life genetically fucked, animals on the verge of extinction, others completely wiped out, and the ones we are told are safe to eat have been robotically processed, fed with a toxic subsidized corn and shit slurry, butchered by a poverty-stricken labor force, and choked down our throats at drive through truck stops. We can no longer swim in our waterways, eat fish or ducks, drink water from the city. Our children are dying before adulthood. They are being nursed on contaminated breast milk, raised in slum-like conditions, and brainwashed to the point of ignorance. Their child bodies riddled with asthma and birth defects, starving and weak, but strong only in their fingers, from the confinement of work camps, those small, battered hands, running the machines of sin, mass-producing, disposable, and truly worthless weapons of mass consumption. Now, as we are shocked by witnessing our beloved pets become walking tumors, the air thick and poisonous, the sun once warm and inviting, now a ferociously hot, face-melting, deadly death ray of destruction. No longer shall we suffer such a fate. Tomorrow we go to war, knowing the enemy is bigger, richer, and armed beyond imagination. They have stockpiles of nuclear, chemical, and conventional weapons, ships the size of whole cities, tanks, drones, jumbo jets, nuclear submarines. They have the great wealth of perceived money, control of the media, and an unprecedented amount of brainwashed followers. Although we only have an arsenal of pitchforks and rocks, there is one thing we have that guarantees our victory. That is the will to survive. Tonight we rest, for tomorrow we fight or we die.